They're really inspirational. They are. You know, like the dad. You know, he's just this is a real adventurous, adventurous guy. And he had this, you know, mega construction company, and he just gave it up to go sail around the world. He, you know, likes to go surf wherever hurricanes show up. You know, the kids are all into music and photography and film. You know, I mean, they're really artsy. So, yeah, uh, kind of independent, free thinking, spiritual type of people. You know. What do you think? <laughs> there has been just a passion in me that I've wanted to sail around the world. We're doing it together as a family. It's not just Craig and I doing it, but the whole entire family. They'll run into storms out there and that'll be critical because the first thing that'll happen is one of them will make a big mistake, whether it's Craig or Ryan or one of the kids. One of them will make a big mistake. When you ask me the question about people saying they think I'm crazy, well, you know, you're only crazy if you don't go and get the experience. That's what this is about, is this journey's about an experience. It's a dream of doing the unconventional, seeking an escape, of seeking the freedom that uh, sometimes we feel we don't have in society. At any given time, there may be something like 25,000 people out cruising in boats on the sea, uh, but there may be two and a half million people who wish they were. I think one of the main things about a trip like this is you've got everybody sort of like in this small contained place and they can't get away from each other. So there's going to be these, these family dynamics and you know, how do they work through conflicts and they're people who are very good at working through conflicts you know they're not they're not a dysfunctional family they're definitely not they're they're a pretty together group and so I think that they're interesting that way you know I moved to Austin about a little less than a year ago and the mother is a realtor a local realtor uh, Lorraine Bach and so she basically helped me find my house and we took a long time looking for it and I would come into town and she and I just became friends and really early on she started talking about this sort of like idea that they wanted to go on this long boat trip but it just seemed very you know unrealistic and something that people just say but they don't really do we remained friends and then at one point she said you know we're really going to go we're going to leave at the end of January or early February and that's when it became real and I sort of started talking to some friends back in Chicago where I went to film school about it and they said you know it's a great documentary subject so then I presented it to the family like why don't we do a documentary and they had sort of thought about it they had thought of filming themselves but they just didn't know what to do it's just big the project's big but Craig never does anything in a little way he never has he doesn't build fires small he builds bonfires he doesn't build small houses, he builds large houses. That is Craig Bach all over the place. He, does, he doesn't do anything in a little way, never. And so I'm not even surprised that we're doing this project. And I know that there are moments where Craig thinks, oh, what have I done, you know, this project's, oh, maybe over my head. But the one thing I do know about him is that I always know he can do it. I, he, always, he has always done it, and I just know he can do it. I think that if uh, all the boat builders of old had all the modern tools and epoxies and resins and everything that are available today, they wouldn't have built boats like they did back then. Uh, we're not trying to restore the boat, we're renovating the boat. which We just want to get it on the water as quick as we can so we can get out of here. Yeah, I mean, the boat had a ton of work, you know, I mean, it's, it needed a, a lot of work. Because the footage, that when we finally got, you know, the first batch of tapes from them, you know, we put them up there and looking, I mean, it was like stripped down, it was a skeleton. We're like, they're going to go to sea in that? You know, it's just like, I mean, they're like, you know, gluing boards. This thing's, you know. They're closing up all the holes, you know, they're putting the roof on the uh, pilot house, you know, everything. It's starting to look really good. And when they paint it and everything's finished, you know, inside's totally done and everything, it's going to be a first-class boat. <laughs>
I think that I've learned a lot just by going one day and watching and helping and cleaning up around the boat, you know? Even though I didn't do very much, I still learned a lot. So. It is a major effort to film your life and, you know, they're going to have to make that effort and will they? You know, there's a time lapse, like they, they tape a bunch of stuff, they film a bunch of stuff, and then they send it to me. So I've got about 16 tapes now that I'm still going through. And so they're still living while I'm still looking and while I'm still giving feedback. And so I think we'll get to a point over time where we're getting a groove, you know, and we start, they start knowing what, what looks good and, and what we're looking for and, and that type of thing. You know, I think it's weird because we're talking about this film before it happens. Yeah, Usually yeah, you talk about a documentary once it's done. Yeah, yeah, and then we can say, hey, man, you got to check this out. It's great. You should see what happened. You know, this is before it's done. It's all about potential right now. It's, it's, it's you know, anyone who's looked at it, you know, I mean, you're, I mean, you just sit there and you just start realizing, man, the scope of this thing is like, man, it can go huge. You know, I mean, there's so many avenues that can be taken. It has a feeling of great potential. Yeah. And we're just going to see if we can create that.